The busy summer wedding season is here. A 2021 real wedding study found 80% of all weddings happen between May and October. The most popular months are June and August. So maybe you're attending a wedding or in one this summer, but it has been two years since pre pandemic life and perhaps this wedding is your first big social setting since 2019. If you have to give a toast, well, it's time to brush up on your people skills and public speaking. Blanca Cobb is a body language expert with a master's degree in psychology. Blanca wedding toast can be either totally moving or totally cringe worthy. What is a common mistake you think people make when giving toasts? You're right, Megan. Some of those wedding toasts are cringe worthy. A big mistake that people make is that they let everybody know how nervous they are and they'll sell they will say things like, you know, I'm not very good at this, but I'm going to here goes nothing. Or they might say, I'm not very eloquent. Or they might say, I'm going to try not for this not to be so long, or they might go like this. Oh, I had a last sip before I could start talking. All of that, you're really taking away from your message and um, the sincerity of it. Not to say that what you're gonna say isn't sincere, but it's just how you set that stage. Just be out of, of nervousness. It just doesn't bode well. Yeah, and alcohol does not mix well with wedding toasts either. So weddings can bring out emotions in people. What if you cry when you're giving a toast? How do you handle that? Crying is very natural. The thing is you want to have control of your crying. So if you notice that you're starting to tear up, you can just pause in the middle of your toast, take a breath, and then continue talking. Sometimes your emotions get the best of you, no matter what you try. And, and I say at that moment, just politely wrap up your toast without apologizing. There's no reason to apologize for how you're feeling. You don't have to say, oh, I'm sorry. Now I you know, have to, can't finish what I want to say. No. You know what you can do? You can just say here, cheers to the new couple, to the happy couple, lifetime of happiness, whatever you want to say, and then people will understand. And if you're like, oh, I really wish I had told them, you can write them a letter. You can send them a text or an email at a different time, like maybe after the honeymoon, and just say, hey, you know, here's some final thoughts I didn't get to say in, in my toast. Yeah. Now, for some of you out there, you might be like, whatever, Blanca, no matter what, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna finish my toast. Okay. And if that's what you want to do, it's fine. But consider this, there are physiological changes to your body. When you cry, your voice changes, you sound strained, your nose is running, you're sniffing, right? And what happens is it makes it harder for people to understand. So if people don't understand what you're saying, then they're not gonna be able to appreciate your toast. So what are some other quick pointers to make a toast really great and really resonating with the guests? Remember this long toast, don't make a great toast. It doesn't have to be long. You can It can be short and to the point. You can share one or two of your most favorite stories or memories of the couple, and that's gonna be much more powerful and it's gonna resonate with everyone who is listening. Keep this in mind, just because you know everyone in the family, wedding guests, all wedding guests may not. So when you're giving a toast and you're talking about someone, it would be very helpful for everybody else if you could just talk about the relationship. Jim, the bride's uncle, as an example, that will help everyone really understand and they get the point because they'll be able to appreciate who you're talking about. Right. It includes everybody, regardless of the relationship with the couple. Thanks, Blanca. Those are some amazing tips. If you'd like to continue this conversation, you can join Blanca on our Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, a body language expert.